we're at Esso, we're about to fill up, and I just can't believe my eyes. A buck seventy-three a liter here in Canada, in Ontario, in Vancouver, a buck ninety-four, Montreal, buck eighty-seven. It's extremely expensive. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through the top five things you can do to save money on gas for your car. First tip is you're gonna to wanna to fill your tires to the proper manufacturer recommended PSI. You don't wanna be running on low tires. It's gonna actually cause more drag and more wear on your tire and cost you more money. So here I have a booster. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the tires per the manufacturer specifications on all four tires and wheels. So the next thing you wanna do is actually get rid of everything that's in the trunk. I obviously have all my hockey gear here. I'm gonna remove everything that I don't need to bring with me on any kind of trip and get as much weight as you can out of the car. So we're gonna take all this out. Everything that's potentially in the back seat, you also wanna remove. Essentially, you just wanna make sure you're driving with the least amount of weight as possible. That's gonna help significantly with your fuel efficiency. Now, the next tip is gonna sound obvious, but it's not actually obvious all the time. You wanna make sure you drive the car as efficiently and economically as possible. So what does that mean? It means not a lot of start and stop traffic. You don't wanna to be too harsh on the gas. You wanna accelerate easy off the line, and you wanna make sure you use a lot of your engine braking instead of you know accelerating up to a red light. So, you know, slow acceleration, you know, keep the RPMs at, at a low speed here. This is gonna help keep you as economical as possible, at least in the city streets, which is gonna be the least economical place for you to be driving your car. And on the highway, you actually wanna be driving not at, you know, let's say in Canada, in Ontario, the average speed. And here, right now, I'm off the gas completely. I saw it was red and I'm just completely coasting. But average highway speed in Canada is about 120 kilometers an hour, even though the speed limit's at 100. That's the rate that people are actually driving. And I'd say to actually get the best efficiency for your car, you're looking at about 100 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit, or even less than that, actually. We see for not only internal combustion engine cars, but even electric cars that as you go higher in the speeds, you're gonna be you know, losing more range. So you wanna make sure in the city, you drive economically on the highway, you want to go ahead and make sure that you're driving under the 120 average, you know, around the speed limit, maybe a little bit under the speed limit to get the best fuel economy out of your engine. And again, light off the line. You're not racing anybody. You are driving like your grandmother would. And that's going to be the most efficient way to drive. The next thing you should be thinking about is actual general maintenance. And I can list off a bunch of items that you should immediately check, again, just to ensure that your car is running to its fullest potential and at its most efficient way. So I look at right away, air filter. Make sure you have a clean and proper air filter installed on the car. Number two, spark plugs. Make sure the spark plugs are good, the, the injectors are good, just the general engine maintenance is there because if you don't have spark plugs that are running fine, you know, your injectors may be clouded. These are things that you're gonna see come up sap fuel economy and you don't wanna sap fuel economy. So you wanna make sure generally your car is in good shape to go ahead and drive. Keep the maintenance up to date. Do the oil changes, keep the maintenance up to date. The car is gonna be running at its most economical. And finally, the last tip, this might sound obvious, but where you can, don't drive your car. Can you go ahead and walk to where you need to go? Can you take a bicycle? Can you do something else? It's probably way healthier for you anyway. So try to make sure that if you can get to your destination some other way, you know, go do that. Don't take out the car. Why not go ahead and find another way to get there? Even if you have to go somewhere, can you carpool with somebody? Can you go ahead and get, you know, a carpool situation going for work? or maybe you're going to a friend's, tag along with somebody else. You know, if you're finding ways to go ahead and not use the car, that's great. Find ways to carpool, find ways to save money like that. Try to stay out of your car as much as possible. These gas prices are crazy. Obviously, these are the tips that I think will help you the most, especially when thinking about reducing your gas bill. Even for this Lexus IS250, this is a 2009. It's got the V6 engine and it does consume a lot of gas. So I hope these tips help you guys save some money on gas. 
All right, I have a bonus tip for you before I let you go. Always use an app like Waze or Google Maps to tell you the best way to get to your destination. You don't wanna get caught up in traffic or something else that you're not familiar with. I love Waze personally because of not just the traffic but the police information of who's around me. So I like Waze, use Google Maps, whatever you prefer, but a great way to make sure you get to your destination as quickly as the roads will allow. So that's it guys. Those are my top five tips on how to save money on gas for your car. I hope this was helpful. Gas prices are super crazy right now. So honestly, saving every dollar counts. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel again. Cover everything to do with cars, motorcycles, the Lexus, the R8, everything else on the channel. Um, but yeah, happy to uh, you know bring out these tips. Let's save a little bit of money and hopefully you know everything that's going on with Ukraine and Russia settle itself and hopefully it doesn't have too much of an economic impact and a long-term economic impact, which this may have. Quite honestly, the entire world is fighting with so much inflation. This just adds to it. I've never seen gas prices this high. So fingers crossed they come back down, but uh, let's get prepared and save some money on gas. How much is the diesel right now? $1.82. Isn't that crazy? Like, I've never seen gas prices this high. No. How much does it cost to fill that? I don't know, and I don't care to know. All right. <laughs> they got tanks at the yard for that. Right, right. We run yeah, out yeah, diesel right now. That's what we have to put. Right. Wow. It's probably 500 liters. Wow. I saw in Vancouver, it's $1.97. I got a big boat, <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to filling up. Well, it's going to be expensive. It'll be 1800 bucks probably. It's going to be nuts. And they're going to add a carbon tax. It's going to go up 14 cents. Are you serious? Yep. Holy I know. Holy. All right. Drive safe, guys. Hey.